I'm tired, Janie. I'm tired. And I'm sick. Well, then you're in the right ward. We specialize in people that are sick. And tired, too, Gart. I'm sick. And I'm tired. Of a husband who lives in a kind of permanent self-pity. A husband with a heart, bleeding sensitivity that he unfurls like a flag whenever he decides the competition is, is a little too rough for him. Some people aren't built for competition, Janie. Or big, pretentious houses they can't afford. Or rich communities they don't feel comfortable in. Or country clubs they wear around their neck like a badge of status. And you would prefer? I would prefer, though never ask before, a job, any job, any job at all where I could be myself. Where I wouldn't have to climb on a stage and go through a masquerade every morning at 9 o'clock. And mouth all the dialogue and play the executive and make believe I'm the bright young man who's on his way up because I'm not that person, Janie. You've tried to make me that person, but that isn't me. That isn't me at all. I'm... I'm a not very young, soon to be old, very uncompetitive, rather dull, quite uninspired, average type guy with a wife who has an appetite. And just where would you be if it weren't for my appetite? I know where I'd like to be. Where's that? A place called Willoughby, a little town I manufactured in a dream. Well, tell me about your dream, Guard. It's an odd dream, very odd dream. <laughs> Willoughby. It was summer, very warm. Kids were barefooted. One of them had a fishing pole. It all looked like a courier and Ives painting. Bandstand, bicycles, wagons. I've never seen such serenity. It was the way people must have lived a hundred years ago. Crazy dream. Yeah. You let me know when you wake up, huh, God? No, wait a minute, Janie. Please, Janie. You know what the trouble with you is, God? You were just born too late. Because, you know, you're the kind of a guy that could be satisfied with a summer afternoon or, a, or an ice wagon being drawn by a horse. So it's my mistake, pal. My error. My miserable, tragic error to get married to a man whose big dream in life is to be Huckleberry Finn. Yeah. Maybe. Something like that place, a time where a man can live his life full measure. That's what he said. That's what that conductor said. A place where a man can live his life full measure.